And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, kids and kiddos, dogs and cats, crawlers and ballers. Hey, this is a video I was really looking forward to editing. It is beautiful. This is a really fun area that I'm living in currently, temporarily. Uh, I live here all winter and now it's spring coming on summer. It's time to go home, but I got about another week or 10 days to be here and I'm just gonna burn it up as much as I can. I put out a video earlier today and this is one I went out and shot after I did that. I went out and shot this around four o'clock this afternoon. Um, it was gorgeous. Thunderheads rolling around Nimbus Cumulus and uh, or Cumulus Nimbi. I don't know what you want to call them. Beautiful. Uh, granite, uh, decomposed granite and really grippy. Um, you know, granite that that, that decom it's decomping a little bit, so it has a lot of grip on it. And then there's some slick sections, but not too many. This is this is really awesome grip. Um, and uh, you know, we're just out on the trail, doggo out checking around us, always circling around us, checking and uh, doing his job. That's Blue Dog. If nobody, if you don't know already, that's Blue Dog. He is. The cardboard crawler's uh, mascot and guard dog. And uh, if you like this content, uh, remember to like, subscribe, share, uh, hit that notification bell uh, so you know when I do put out a new video. I'm trying to just slam some content out right now, guys. That's um, old Donner Summit behind us there. It's the ridge coming off Donner Summit. Donner Summit's just above the yellow Jeep right there, that gray peak right above it. Um, anyway, gorgeous views. I ski around here uh, when the snow's good and Sugar Bowl's just right over that ridge. Um, back up the road, you can see a car moving behind us. This is a uh, old 40 once again different spot I'm below the lookout now I'm down a couple of turns from the lookout little yellow Jeep ah uh, let me tell you about the little yellow Jeep well first let me tell you about these little those little edits the uh, high speeds I put them in there because you're just traveling across some ground that wasn't that interesting let me know in the comments if you don't like that style of the edit um, let me know if you do like it uh, I really need more feedback on the edits of what I'm doing here like is it good is it not good are you interested in it are you watching the whole thing analytics tell me only so much it's really your your comments that really motivate what I'm doing with the camera here and what I'm doing with the vehicle do you like these trucks um, this is the Grizzly Works recovery vehicle right here a couple of winch got a static line for the rear and a real uh, uniform winch for the front and this little yellow Jeep let me tell you it's got Endura wheels with brass rings it's got those crawler master MTs on it with a one size Phone, uh, one size smaller foam insert so they're they, they I gives them a little bit of play but I, I don't know it's a little trick if you guys have one or two sizes smaller foam for a set of tires you're having trouble with try to put um, that in that foam into it and see what you get out of it it really changes your performance those have them too anyhow back to that rig we took the bumpers off we cut the fenders we put Endura wheels and tires with Maz rings on it. It's running stock shocks, stock links, stock axles. It has a Emacs servo and a Grizzly Works LCG chassis kit in it. That thing is a runner. Love it. It works so good. Um, this Grizzly Works uh, has a chassis kit. This Grizzly Works recovery vehicle has a chassis kit, sliders, 
uh, Grizzly Works bumper. Uh, so yeah, I hooked it up for Brandon. That's the Grizzly Works recovery rig. His specialty is pulling people out of bad spots and getting itself out of bad spots like that. It's a runner. But back to that little, oh, one thing we love about this recovery vehicle is it unfortunately used to have a problem with um, breaking some axles. So I think I took out this. There's two shovels that come with the gladiators and I took out a shovel and you'll see here that I put in a, a usable spare axle and so it carries its own little spare axle with it that'll be coming into view here in just a second there it is and that yellow jeep yeah she's a great little truck so you know for about i don't know we got about 220 in it plus a little bit of labor love and uh she rips uh you know it's a version two of course just running a normal version two esc uh it does have a uh Endure motor. I can't remember if I said that or not. It's got a purple pro in it. And sometimes you just got to sit and enjoy the view for a second there. Coming down from the big view. And we're going to go around the corner and actually get a better view here. We got to do some wheeling to get there though. Pretty hard line getting away from that spot we were just at. Good times. Loving it. Yellow Jeep getting after it. Like I said, it just works. Something about it. Um... For a second, I thought I had a wide steering link on it, but and it made it drive better, but that's not it. That steering link's the same. This is like a stock, maybe a millimeter bigger, but not even. <clears throat> Beautiful scenery. If you're familiar with this area, Truckee, California, down there, that's Donner Lake below us. And then this is, um, these are the old train sheds. They built these sheds, up, I think, back in the 50s. Might have built them earlier than that, but uh, the original tunnel, tunnel number six, was built by um, Chinese immigrant uh, workers. They, they were basically slaves. I mean, you know, they were treated, they were horrible, horrible treatment of some workers up there digging the mines with black powder, uh, or not the mines, I'm sorry, the tunnels for the train, the original train. I think they built that train tunnel in 1860. Maybe they started to work on it years before that, but it was completed and ran their first trains in 1860 through there. Got to remember, 1848 was the gold rush here. So they were building that train to try and move the gold east. Um, if you look, that big square opening back there, that's the addition to old number six. And that's... Uh, yeah, it's a big gnarly tunnel. And it's through this granite. It, it, the big rock that the it's right behind the uh, blue there was uh, that's all dug through by black powder. That is Donner Peak directly above right there, the big point above us, the high spot. That is the peak. You can go up there and see the uh, the marker. Um, it's still a lot of snow. I could take my split board up and then you just it's pretty easy to walk up those rocks once you get up to the top. Up the back side, it's a slope. Right up the front, it looks like big cliffs. It is, but the back is sloping. Just big granite slab. You go up there, and then you got to, you know, rock hop a little bit to get to the top. And there's the uh, the markers up there. I've been up there a number of times. I don't have a recent photo of it, though. But sick little wheeling spot, eh? Like, I mean, how much better does it get, people? I'm spoiled. Again, if you love this, like this, even kind of enjoy it a little tiny bit, click the subscribe button. It doesn't cost a dime. It doesn't do anything to anybody. It's just it's part of an algorithm, you know? It's part of making life what it is. It's, you know, tell me if you like it by subscribing or even just telling me you like it. You don't have to subscribe to comment, I don't believe. So get after it, kids. And, um, you know, I do lots of shorts. This is a long play, so it is what it is. Might pull some shorts out of it later. I don't know. May not. I really uh, like what I'm doing here with 
the way that it looks you, you know the, the trail is just there I'm just driving around finding the spot finding my way around the big rocks to get down the little rocks you know it's all just I'm not moving the trucks any I'm just moving the camera and just walking down this little trail it's you know a couple hundred yards to down here and uh, it's super fun I'm loving it and once again Donner Peak behind us I call that the shoulder of doom that big snow that big right hand going uh, you know it's like the ridge that runs to the right of that uh, it is uh, I call that the shoulder of doom it's not really, I've never ridden it it's a line that I really want to ride but I don't know Jeremy Jones has a really cool edit from it this year super sick bit, uh, drone shot of it but <clears throat> yeah you gotta get it on the right day and be with the right people so yeah, that's what it's all about. You just got to have right, good riding partners. Be smart about it out there. It can be super dangerous. There's a little hole right behind the, uh, under that tree. And Blue's smelling the whatever animal lives in there. Right behind the yellow Jeep, there's a little, goes in. <laughs> we didn't disturb them. They're doing their thing. Uh, but this is sick. This was a sick little section. I was like, well, I don't know if they're going to make it down here, but... Uh, yeah, let's check it out. I know there's a sweet little campsite down here, folks. That's where I'm taking my buddy with the yellow Jeep. Glad he knows his way. Take it down there. I think the Jeep takes over here. But you gotta let him lead some good lines, you know? Having a good I was worried that the Jeep would flip over right here. It's kind of um different kind of terrain. It, it, and I'm just above it. I didn't didn't walk at first so I just put the gladiator in front of it so he could just kind of break him down Jake break him down the hill but he didn't really need to and then yeah what a beautiful area that we're gonna go camp right around the corner here so yeah just uh, out wheeling for the day trying to find an awesome spot to camp here above Truckee California above Donner Lake we're looking from the west to the east the north shore of the lake is on our left the south shore is on our right as we look and, uh, yeah she's a good old beautiful lake there's a big boat down there there's a couple little sailboats on it right now and you drive around, around the north shore uh, there, there's a road on both sides but it doesn't loop it um, the north shore road is old highway 40 beautiful homes and all the docks I'm sorry not all of the docks along the lake but a good percentage of them are public docks and if you go there and just post up on the dock with you and your dog or you and your family or you and yourself and your blanket you can stay there for a day it's 24 hour usage and uh, it's really cool so you know and then just sometimes people just go there for a couple hours and hang out or you can go fish and if the docks are all open you just go dock to dock and fish off the docks it's pretty fun it's a beautiful place super deep get big lake trout rainbows um, there's kokanee in there as well so yeah gorgeous uh, yellow jeep crashing getting down into some nar nar here you got to go through the shelf to get to camp right and uh we go to camp because just above camp there's a really nice spring and it looks like a desert where we're at right now but when you come around the corner which we will here in just a moment you're gonna have a beautiful little grassy area that is produced by the spring above us and we are just gonna trample through here without doing too much damage not getting through the mud and the wets we're taking the old natural trail that nobody's been here this year is spring spring thaw and uh, it looks like we might be the first campers out here at this trail you know what i'm saying gonna have a heck of a view at night, you can see over to the left that there's a highway, there's a roadway moving, and that's Highway 80. That goes all the way from San Francisco to, I'm not sure, Chicago. 
might even go further. Might might go to New York. I don't think it goes quite to New York, but it's a coast to coaster, baby. That's 80 all the way across. Blue making sure everything's good. A little side hill there for the Jeep. What Endura parts do we have on there? Oh, that's right. We have Endura wheels and shocks and not the links on that rig. Uh, we should just put a set of Maz links on it. It's so heavy already, though. Maybe when we get titanium. Titanium links coming, folks. Mazdesigns.com. Check it out. So yeah, this is camp. This little shelf right here will shelter us from the wind. There's nice bushes uh, off to our, from where the camera is sitting. So we can have shade in the afternoons. And what the heck, how many beers did you have on the trail, guys? What are you even doing? Drinking Fireball right before camp? All right, all right. Hey, man, this Jeep's pretty new. Why are you giving me road rash? Not really into it, but it is what it is. Thanks, boss. Yeah, let's check it out. Let's let's park them up. Yeah, that's the view from camp. Got us a little fire going. You know, cold up here in the mountains. Running about 6,000 feet right now. Snow in the distance and just around the corner, just below us, a big snow patch. Just above us, the dog and cardboard crawlers. Out.